first of all, I'd like to wish everyone a warm welcome. And uh, thanks for, sparing, so for uh, sharing this special day with us. And, uh, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for also without him, this would not be possible. And also want to thank my family for their support over the years. Well, it all started back in 2004 with the vision to start a construction company. And with that vision, Southside Community Development and Housing Corporation gave us an opportunity with a $7,500 contract to do some tuck pointing on Decatur Street. Uh, Mr. Chambers shared a wealth of information about the construction industry, including the uh, importance of a safe job site. The relationship led to an introduction with Better Housing Coalition. It was then when we built our first house on North 27th Street and we were introduced to affordable housing. We continued to learn more about building affordable housing with uh, Better Housing Coalition and noticed how communities were being transformed and lives were being changed as it was a great feeling. These homes were all Earthcraft certified and they were built with high quality materials. After working with the local nonprofits in the area, we started, we started creating a uh, strategic partnerships that showed us how to bid and respond to projects that required a developer and a builder. We were then improving housing opportunities on larger projects, on larger tracts of land, and we were making a change in those communities for families and children. In 2007, I was approached with information on the parcels of land behind us. I had a dream of developing this into an affordable housing community. After several conversations and several new relationships, I must say, eight years later, this, was, this would have not been possible without the majority of you here today. Um, you know, from the mayor having initial conversations with him Economic Development, the Metropolitan Business League, Peter, Virginia Community Development Corporation, Mr. Graham Driver, Diana with Southside Community, LISC. So there, the list goes on and on. But you know, I'm thankful for, for all of you and the team that we put together to make this uh, project come to fruition. The townhomes and workplace will be an Earthcraft certified project and will consist of all three bedrooms, two and a half baths, brick and hardy plank, low maintenance living units. The townhomes at workplace is more than just another community or housing development. To me, this serves as a continuation of impacting families with children in our community. This is a project that is deeply rooted in the community because it is being constructed for and by our community. Permanent and temporary jobs are being created. Small business owners and subcontractors are growing their capacity. <coughs> This has been a development in the making since the inception of Canterbury Enterprises, and I am elated that it's coming together with the involvement of some great people. Building relationships that are sturdy, strong, and it resonates in our work and therefore the finished project. The townhomes and workplace is something to be proud of. I envision this development as a place where families and children will thrive. These neighborhoods are able to foster the future leaders and professionals that will carry on what we as a community are starting to build today. This is not just another development or another neighborhood. This is a model that we want to see created throughout the Richmond area. And with that, we'll have a prayer by Pastor Luster. And immediately after that, we'll have the mayor and council president, Michelle Mosby. Good afternoon, everyone. We are very uh, happy for Junior and his project here. Uh, it's one of our mottos. I'm standing in for Pastor Calvin Duncan at Faith and Family Church. And one of our mottos there is to uh, building consummate, balanced people, doing good works in the community. And uh, I think Junior and his co co uh, company exemplifies that. So we just want to offer up a word of prayer. If you bow your heads with me, please. Father, we're just so grateful and thankful for what you're doing. Father, as this ground is being broken and open, we thank you that you will establish, even as Junior said, a community that will be a model community in the city. That would be one that would be established to exemplify community and neighborhood and warmth. One that would exemplify a standard that will be a, a, a change in communities around the city. 
Let it be that which he says, a model that will stand forth, that others can uh, look at and see. And we thank you for the prosperity of this community, the safety of this community. And we thank you for the production and producing model citizens and people of purpose and destiny. And we give you praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everybody. And it's a delight to be here to share with uh, Junior Burr and Canterbury and Gina and Canterbury, uh, the Canterbury operation to celebrate this groundbreaking and this wonderful opportunity to see redevelopment and revitalization in the Midlothian Turnpike Corridor, especially this Warwick uh, Road and old Warwick Road corridor. We want to uh, say to Junior that we certainly congratulate him today on the fine work that he has done. It's been a long time coming. Uh, we've been talking about this for many, many months, no, many, many years. And today uh, we're able to come and break this ground. We're very proud to have been a part of this as a city. Uh, the city has been very active in making this day a reality, uh, helping with uh, getting together the uh, due diligence to get the grants that are needed in working with the Department of Housing and Community Development and VHDA. I also want to mention uh, our council president who's going to speak after me. Uh, she's been a strong supporter of this development and she uh, has been a co-patron on this performance agreement partnership. And she's working very hard in this area to make sure that this is a catalyst for additional roof rooftops and for the delivery of social and educational services to the residents of this area. And as we look around to the new uh, recreational facilities that are going to be here, uh, this is a great day for the 9th District. And so we're very, <laughs> I thought I could get an amen from somebody on that. Uh, and so uh, the whole issue of affordable housing is extremely important to us as a city because when we have affordable housing, it means that households with modest means uh, have the opportunity to spend uh, their funds on nutritious meals and on the other uh, things that are needed for their families. And so uh, I want to express my appreciation to Junior and to Canterbury Enterprise for uh, delving into this area and for sticking with this thing to make this dream become a reality. Let me also mention that, uh, as he mentioned, these things are not done in isolation, but it is with the help of community partners that we are able to get that this work done. So we want to express our congratulations not only to Canterbury, but to all of the partners who work together to make this day happen. Our economic development department, Lee Downing is here, uh, has done a great job now. There's a selfish reason that I'm excited about this as well, because this property now is generating about $60 in real estate taxes. But when this is over, it will be $42,000. So it's a good day for the city of Richmond, particularly with all of the needs we have and all of the concerns we're trying to do. I do my budget speech tomorrow. Good to know we'll have $42,000 more to work with. <laughs> I'm going to take Michelle with me everywhere I go. <laughs> And so congratulations, uh, Junior, on this wonderful day. And I look forward to turning some dirt. And I look forward to this project being the first of many. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. For those of you who have not had the opportunity of meeting me, yes, I am Michelle Mosby. And I stand here today in my first honor as the city council representative for the great people of the ninth district. And once again, woo <laughs> as we work together to maximize every opportunity to improve our communities. Another honor I have been blessed with is the opportunity to also serve as the city council president for the city of Richmond, where I have the privilege of working together with eight other council members to serve as the, as the voices of the people for this great city. And last but certainly not least, I have the honor today of welcoming all of you to today's groundbreaking ceremony, celebrating the visible beginning of the town homes at Warwick Place. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> and all of that 
and all that this project is already doing to establish quality, affordable housing and breathing new life into this vital community. This Warwick corridor has undergone many transitions over the years. And as their voice on council, what I have come to learn is that through it all, this community has remained determined and hopeful. This community is its businesses, its residents have played an active role within the 9th district. And I know that they will take a great pride in welcoming the town homes at Warwick Place. And Canterbury Enterprises as a partner and common stakeholder in the continued revitalization of the community and the 9th district. And as the city council president, I am always mindful of our commitments as a council, as the voices of the people to create vibrant communities that are a great place to live, to work, to learn, to play, to visit, and to raise your families. As I have observed the plans and the quality investment being made in the development and construction of these townhomes, the word vibrant definitely comes to mind. Not only will they be stunning from the outside, but from the inside as well. In addition to the quality construction, Canterbury Enterprises also brought jobs to our community. By hiring three temporary construction set staff, they have also planned to hire three permanent positions once the project is completed. Woohoo! Come on, y'all, get some jobs. <laughs> now, with all that said, I believe that the townhomes at Warwick will serve as a shining example of what happens when we work together to positively impact the lives of Richmond residents create a stronger Richmond and a stronger Virginia. I am a firm believer that it takes teamwork to make the dream work. It took a lot of hard work, commitment, and, and due diligence on the part of the partners who have played a key role in bringing us to, the phase of this, to this phase of the project. And I, I would like to take the time to acknowledge and express appreciation to Canterbury Enterprises, Mr. Junior Burr, Gina Burr, I understand how that goes, <laughs> the mayor and his administration, the Office of Economic and Community Development, Southside Community Housing, and as always, I am thankful to all of the residents, AKA my 9th District Gladiators, who continue to be supportive of efforts to move the district forward. I am confident that the partnerships that have been forged during the course of this project will remain strong as we continue to work together with the common focus of supporting vibrant community, district, and city that we can be proud to call home. Again, I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to come and celebrate this great occasion with us. And I look forward to getting together real soon because y'all take a look behind you and I'm not trying to steal your thunder, Junior. But take a look behind you. We got some good things coming. And so the best is yet to come. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Now, we will have a uh, couple of remarks by the President and CEO of Virginia Community Development Corporation, Mr. Bob Newman. And after that, immediately after that, we will have pictures. Thank you, Junior, Mayor Jones, and Council President Mosby, and everybody here. Wow, there's a lot of people here. I didn't see you before. Um, Virginia Community Development Corporation, also known as VCDC, uh, we're very proud to have played a very important part in this development today. Uh, I met Junior probably more than 10 years ago. Uh, I didn't realize it was that long ago, uh, but when he was recounting his story a moment ago, that's what, what put it in perspective. Um, and, and I've always known him as an achiever, somebody who knows how to get something done. Um, he's an you know, excellent builder, a very astute businessman, um, but he'd never taken on a, a development like this uh, that, that we're celebrating today. So those of you who don't know, um, in the world of low-income housing tax credits, which was a, a big part of the, the financing for this, that can be a really competitive, uh, complicated, and uh, difficult um, process to, to coordinate without some experience. And so Graham Driver from the staff of VCDC worked with jo Junior over many years to help make this uh, development possible. Um, and um, that helped to uh, allow us to invest uh, approximately $3.3 million in private uh, equity investment from one of our housing funds, which involved 15 different private investors, including Access Bank, BB&T, Capital One, Cardinal Bank, Farmers and Merchant Bank, Fakir Bank, John Marshall Bank, Middleburg Bank, Monarch Bank, Old Point National Bank, Pioneer Bank, Town Bank, Union Bank and Trust, Valley Bank, and Washington First Bank. So as illustrated by that list of uh, corporate investors, 
a big part of the, the work that BCDC has done over the last 25 years has been connecting capital from community banks and other Virginia corporations to um, really clever and committed, visionary and persistent entrepreneurs like Junior Burr to make quality developments like the townhomes at Warry Place um, possible. And while we know we're one of only many parties that have played a role in this development, we're really very proud and honored to have had the opportunity to be a part of this team. However, the greatest sat satisfaction is going to come about a year from now, next spring, when we're going to be here on another sunny day celebrating the uh, ribbon cutting, when all the, you know, the buildings have been built, the flowers have been planted, the families have been living here, that's going to be the, uh, the great celebration and I look forward to seeing you all of you then for that celebration. Thank you. With that, that concludes the ceremony and I want to thank everyone for coming out today.